Hey there everyone, today we've got something really special to unbox, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 3D printer. I've been excited to get my hands on this printer and now it's finally on my desk. What makes this printer unique is how it packs serious performance into a compact size and it can reach impressive speeds up to 500mm per second with an acceleration up to 10,000mm per second squared. That's some serious speed for a printer this size. As I start opening this book, let's talk about what we're getting. The build volume is 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters, and the hot end can reach temperature up to 300 degrees Celsius, and the heated bed goes up to 100 degrees Celsius. One feature I'm really excited about is the built-in camera system. It's not just for monitoring. It uses Bamboo's AI system to detect print issues. It can pause print automatically when there is a problem, or you can also take time-lapse videos. Bamboo includes their powerful Bamboo Studio software with this printer, super user friendly and the printer comes with the magnetic steel PEI sheets which makes removable prints easier. The auto leveling feature with this strain gauge sensor which ensures the perfect first layer. I'm looking at the size as I unpack this. It has a footprint of 50 by 35 millicentimeters. That's just incredibly space efficient and for performance. It offers um, perfect for any desk or workspace. Despite being Bamboo's smallest printer, it maintains a reputation for solid build quality. Let's see what's inside the box. As we have the printer itself, also the PEI plates, tools for maintenance, everything we need to start set up printing immediately. So let's have a look at through the contents of the box first. Um, so first here is the spool holder um, which can be mounted on the back. Um, now this is cool, Bamboo includes uh, files for printable piano music box. They also include the hand winding kit. Um, you can print it off and basically test that. They also include a filament purger which can help you change the colors between when you're switching and of course the essential PEI build plate calibration tools and everything else. I'm just going to throw away any rubbish which I don't need first. Um, let's get rid of this and that. Um, we need to keep that. Let's put it there. Get rid of the cardboard. Okay, that's the cables, um, the filament. Oh, what is this? Um, hmm, okay, yeah, that's just to, to throw away as well. And let's get rid of this plastic bag as well. Um, I'll quickly set all of these up and we'll be back in a moment. So right now, let me give you a closer look at everything we've got here. The build quality of each of the components really shows Bamboo's attention to details. And the textured PEI sheet has a nice finish that's going to be great for addition and easy to remove. And we can see the solid constructions and the mainframe, um, the precision direct drive extruder. Um, here is a better... Also, you can see the camera system and the cable clean cable management implemented and everything feels really well engineered. So this is where I initially turned on the printer and it's calibrating everything, calibrating the motor. Um, this also got noise cancellation set up, um, which is basically throwing out some vibration and calculating how to efficiently remove the noises. Um, it should be much quieter than any other printers. I'm um, not sure for everything, but like the Ender 3 V2 I had, which was very noisy. And uh, I hope this is much quieter and which can be run anytime. Um, this is something uh, I started printing with the filament they provided, which is like an upside down otter. 
um, I thought I'd just give that a try first um, which was printing in uh, some decent quality without setting anything up and um, that's just the filament that's provided it's not that much um, I will buy some filament and start doing some print which you can see right now this is a test print for um, a keycap which is supposed to be yellow cheese keycap but I basically don't have a yellow um, filament so I decided to keep it white but the keycap really fits well on my mechanical keyboard um, I basically replaced the escape key for it and it's really good and the next one is basically the poop shooter deflector basically whenever the filament is purged um, it throws it away everywhere but I printed it um, so it can be deflected and thrown it into a box rather than just going everywhere like you see over there it's just everywhere so it's just so easy to fit and it fits really nicely and there well I'm printing something else on the side uh, which we can see in a moment as well so this is the scraper I printed um, they provide a blade with it so you can just screw the blade on and they provide the screws as well and the printer already has the model for the scraper um, which did not take i think it took an hour or so for this to print and um, it comes with the cover as well which is really nice and keeps it safe and the next one basically i decided to print a storage box which has four drawers and the drawers didn't take very long to print but the rest of the, uh, the actual shelf storage which took like three hours to print as you can see it's really 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 nice quality one of the boxes i printed with the um, filament they provided and and the other one I bought it off Amazon which uh, seems to be really good it's a PLA plus so I use the eSun template for it um, eSun settings for the PLA plus which is which works really well with this printer as well I don't have to tinker with any settings finally this is my favorite one which is a sliding storage box it works out really well um, I put some cotton buds inside which is really it fits really well as well um, I think I have a couple of more prints to show you as well this might be my most favorite print um, it's the Champions League trophy um, I printed it 66 percent of the original size that's why I think the um, the years are not fitting in the hole so I'm gonna try to put glue on it but it's printed really well but it's just doesn't fit because it's smaller than what it should be and i printed this ping pong ball as well ALS which is really nice